Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Up State. I wanted to go over my earnings from the other night where I earned $35 an hour delivering with Uber Eats. Let's take a look at those numbers. Okay, so as you can see here, these are my deliveries for September 9th, 2020. Um, this was just an order that I did uh, while I was running an errand. But what I really want to look at are these one, two, three, four, five, six line items, which actually have more than six trips. There's actually nine trips in here because I had three stacked orders. Let's take a look at each of these trips and I'll talk a little bit about them. So with this first trip, this was the first order that I got for the night. It was a stacked order. And while this did take me far away from where there are restaurants, it did provide some decent earnings. Again, this was a stacked order. You can see the two separate orders. And I earned about a $1.60 or so per trip, per mile on this over about 46 minutes. So let's add that to our total and we'll move on to the next one. So for this trip, you can see that it was $17.34. This was not a stacked order. This was a single order. And even though I was about five miles away from this restaurant when I took the order, it's better to get paid for miles driving back than driving dead miles. And this one also took me five or six miles outside of an area where there are restaurants. But I'm going to show you how that paid off. So we're going to add this 1734 to my total and move along. Now this is a very interesting order because it's actually one that was canceled. What happened was I got to the restaurant and the people at the restaurant told me that the customer had canceled the order. I still had it on my app, so I called the customer and got no answer. So not wanting to risk uh, canceling an order on someone, I went ahead and had them make the order, which was just a milkshake, and proceeded to deliver it to the customer. I sent my customary text saying that I was on my way, and I was on the highway when I got a text back. I pulled off. I took a look at the text and the person said that they had been trying to cancel the order for two hours. So I called Uber support. I canceled the order and earned $13. I didn't earn the tip, obviously, but I earned $13 and I got a free milkshake. So we will add $13 to our total. So this is another stacked order, $20.58 over 6.6 .6 miles. Again, great earnings on this one individually. And as you can see here, each individual order was pretty decent. So we're going to add the $20.58 to our order. So here we are with another earning, $15.32 over 2.7 miles. It took about 16 minutes to do the total delivery. Not too shabby. If you could get that every 15 minutes, you'd be looking at 60 bucks an hour, but that's not what I earned. Uh, $15 and 32 cents added to the total. And finally, we have this order for $28 and 80 cents for a distance of 4.1 miles. Yeah, another great order here. The last hour that I worked, I think I made close to $50 an hour. So not that bad of an, uh, earnings. Here are the two individual orders, one for $19.77, the other for $16.36. So we'll add that to our total and we have a grand total of $115.68. So 
So I drove for about three and a half hours, which gives me an earnings of $33.05 per hour on Uber Eats. Not too bad for a Wednesday night. I accepted every order that came to me this night. I was on a boost and even a couple of these I had a little bit of surge. So it's important to remember that a lot of things are going to go into determining how much you're going to earn. This just happened to be a great night. And I'm going to talk a little bit later on in another video about the bonus trifecta when it comes to Uber. In fact, that's going to be my next video. I didn't quite have that tonight. I would have earned even more if I had. I probably would have earned closer to 40 or, or $45 an hour had I had uh, the bonus trifecta. But that wasn't the case uh, tonight. I hope this has helped you out. So $33 an hour, that's above average for me. Uh, a slow night for me is $18 to $20 an hour. An average night is $22 to $25 an hour. So I earned way over the average. I do live in a tourist town, and the main attraction is over for the summer. And so I think a lot of the drivers that would normally drive in the area aren't here anymore. And that's what led to the high trip supplements and the surge and the boost that was made available. Again, I hope this helps. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. And of course, like this video if this is something you want to see more of. My name is John with Ride Upstate. Remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits.